What if the most famous celestial event in human history wasn't divine intervention, but a cosmic accident waiting 2,000 years to be solved? December 2nd BCE. Three Persian astronomers abandon their courts, load camels with gold and frankincense, and begin a treacherous journey westward. Their motivation? A star so extraordinary that these learned men, who had cataloged thousands of celestial bodies, believed it heralded the birth of a king who would reshape the world. But here's where history gets interesting. No other civilization recorded this star. Chinese astronomers, meticulous record keepers of every comet and supernova, wrote nothing. Roman historians, obsessed with omens and portents, remained silent. Only Matthew's Gospel preserves this cosmic mystery, leaving modern scholars wrestling with a question that bridges faith and science. The plot thickens when we dive into the astronomical evidence. Johannes Kepler, the legendary mathematician, proposed the first scientific theory in 1614. He calculated that Jupiter and Saturn aligned in an extraordinarily rare triple conjunction in 7 BCE, an event occurring roughly every 900 years. To ancient astrologers, Jupiter represented kingship, Saturn symbolized justice, and their meeting in Pisces, associated with the Jewish people, would have screamed, Royal birth in Judea. Others suggest a nova, a new star, blazing to life before fading into history. Chinese records do mention a nova in 5 BCE, visible for over 70 days. Coincidence? Modern computer models have reconstructed the ancient night sky with startling precision. They reveal that between 7-2 BCE, multiple astronomical phenomena aligned, planetary conjunctions, a possible nova, and even a comet recorded by Chinese astronomers in 5 BCE. So was the star of Bethlehem divine miracle or celestial mechanics? Perhaps that's the wrong question. Maybe the real miracle lies in how this mysterious light, whether supernatural sign or natural wonder, guided humanity toward a story that continues to illuminate our darkest nights two millennia later.